Heard what you did. Saved that Rex Goodman from the super mutants, right? Guess not everyone appreciates the bard, am I right? Wanna hear something spooky? There's this old insane asylum up north, but it ain't abandoned. Not like it should be. Get to work. No, I followed you down here for the exercise. Funny. Well, you'll get plenty of exercise here. You are going to be doing some digging. I'm your girl. No one likes a brown noser. The other two are down there digging already. Go give them a hand, will you? Hey, I think we can finally get through. Want to see what's on the other side? Oh, yeah. You think Bobby will pay us this week? I don't know, man. It's starting to feel like we're doing charity. Did you just hear something? It's crawling with my alerts! Bail! Bobby can take this job and shove it. Good luck down there, new girl. You're messing with the best! Playtime's over! Damn. Now he's just starting to have fun. <laughs> Around here. Well, they're not going to need that stuff anymore. What is going on in my tunnel? Your men ran off when they saw the Mirelurks in there. No, really? Thanks for the news report. Well, you stuck around at least. So I guess you're promoted. You get to be my new gun. I think we just need one more guy. An old friend. He'll want a fair cut, but we saw what being cheap got me. Who is this guy? He's just the guy we need to speed things along. Likes gadgets, money, and not much else. First, I think it's best if you actually see what we're after. I have some things to check on in Diamond City. Head over to the noodle shop there, and I'll meet you when I finish up my business. You heard about that settlement? Covenant? Nice. Real clean. Bobby. Strict there you are. <laughs> Was wondering if you were gonna show up. Yes, it's me. I have to hide my face in these parts. People like me aren't allowed around here. Now let's get down to business. That big wall of glass looming over Diamond City is the mayor's office. Most people don't know it, but there's a strong room buried beneath. Mayor's just sitting on top of it. And that's our target. The guy has it coming if you ask me. With how he treats my kind, maybe he deserves worse. What's inside? Caps, meds, food. Enough to keep this city running. It's things we want. Things everyone wants. You get in on this, there's plenty for you. You got it? So, what do you say we make this party a little bigger? I managed to track down my tech guy. His name's Mel, and he is right here in Diamond City. The guy can make a gadget to solve any problem. Thing is, he's a bit locked up right now. You have to get him out of there. I can't just stroll into Diamond City security with this face, covered or not. If you really think we need this guy... Trust me, this is the guy we need. Pick a lock, find a key, bribe the guard. The usual stuff. Just get him out of there.
Yeah? Mel here. Can I help you? Do you come here often? Yeah. Just come here to unwind. Nothing more relaxing than a sparsely furnished jail cell. So I'm guessing you're here because you need something from me. Um, totally unrelated, but I hear that there's an old glitched out Protectron unit back there. Guards asked me to take a look, but it was a real head scratcher. Couldn't do a thing. No funny business. <clears throat> you got something to say? Why is Mel in here? Him? He was caught trying to reprogram the robot bartender at the tap house to give him free drinks. Just between you and me, I would totally do that if I knew how. I was hoping to get Mel out of lockup. I didn't know Mel had friends. All right, he's pretty much done his time. Let me open up the door. All right, you're free to go, buddy. Read an interview you gave. That thing you said at the end about having hope. Good on you. Let's just so it's true. get out of here. You're leaving the minute, man. Good for you. Mel. Great. I'm cause. curious what this is about, but let's talk once we make some distance, okay? Thanks for getting me out, I guess. So, you're Bobby's new toy. Yeah. This year's hottest gift. Get one before they're gone. I don't really do the whole gift thing. That would require having friends or family. God, that woman doesn't have a patient bone in her body. I wasn't serving a life sentence here. What, she couldn't wait like a day? What's the job? Bobby can fill you in on the details. Yeah, because I'll get so much out of her. Bobby may be shady, but she always pays up in the end. So, I guess I'll get my stuff and head over to her place. Your thoughts? I've been having so much fun out here, I almost forgot about my troubles. Got yourself into trouble again, Matt? Oh, what can right. I say? We're all I learned here. from the best. Mel, you want to introduce your little friend? Yep. Meet Sonya. This little bot is going to help us move through the Earth like a mole rat on jet. I'm excited to see what she can do. <laughs> I can't wait to show you. She's one of a kind. <laughs> I modified her radio systems to emit sonic pulses at frequencies that can loosen any sediment around. Mel says we'll be able to get to the strong room ten times faster than just digging. And it's a hell of a lot safer than loading this place up with dynamite. All right, guys, get ready. I'm not completely sure how this place will respond. So, uh, brace yourselves. Sonya, do your thing. the deal with the new girl oh I got lucky with this one came right up to my door and took the job she takes orders and she's useful in a fight what more could I want she seems to have a good head on her shoulders maybe we don't burn bridges this time yeah Mel if you find anywhere you want Sonya to blast give me a shot What's the story with you and Bobby? Well, she swears she used to work with my grandfather when he was about my age. She courted me at the bar in Good Neighbor and kept telling me how I looked just like her dead friend. Good work on the robot. Very helpful. Thanks. You know, iBots like Sonya aren't easy to come by. She just floated right across my path one day, blasting those horrifying old emergency broadcast announcements like it was fate or something. Mel, get Sonya over here. Gotcha. Sonya.
Over here, Mel. Got it. Sonia, blast time. We need to get through here, Mel. Sonya, you know what to do. Over here, Mel. Got it. Sonia, blast time. seem to have a very good reputation. Look, I'm a ghoul woman with big ideas. There's no way I could get anything done without ruffling a few feathers. Mel. I knew we'd be digging, but I didn't think there would be this much fighting. This place is a maze. I'm not sure if we're going the right way. I asked Bobby for a map or a diagram or something. She was all... Mel. It's pretty much a straight shot. We don't need a map. Straight shot? This is a straight shot like me with a bent rifle in a thunderstorm after four drinks. through. We need to get through here, Mel. Sonya, you know what to do.
Mel, get Sonya over here. Gotcha. Sonya. Of all the ways to make caps, why this? It may be more personal than I let on. Let's just say I have beef with the mayor. Thinks he can keep Bobby No-Nos on the sidelines. But uh, forget all about that. We have a job to do. Mel. If Bobby's directions are correct, and I have my doubts, the strong room should be right through there. If you had anything else you wanted to check out in this tunnel, I suggest you do that first. Bobby. Great. Now my socks are wet. Well, guys, we're right under the Diamond City strong room. You sure this is the right place? I've been mapping it out, and I think Diamond City should be a little further north of here. I don't have a doubt in my mind. How about a little trust for the boss? Tell the truth, Bobby. Where are we? Under the Diamond City strong room. And that is the last time I'm saying it. We still need a way to get up there, though. Mel, you think your robot will work here? Look at this place. The foundation is already crumbling. One blast from Sonya and I bet the floor above will come right down. Well then, make it so. He won't want to be in the room for this collapsing foundation and all. Good thinking. All right then, everybody clear out. Sonya, prepare yourself for a blast at maximum power. Here we go! That didn't sound good. Sonya's okay. Now let's get up into that strong room, shall we? Don't make me carry that worthless crap. Oh, no, no, no! Sonya! Pull yourself together, Mel. We don't need that thing anymore anyway. But... You can make another robot with the haul we get from the strong room. Keep your head in the game. Mel. I'm beginning to wonder what we're gonna find in that strong room. What if there are dead bodies in there or something? What's the story with you and Bobby? Well, she swears she used to work with my grandfather when he was about my age. She courted me at the bar in Good Neighbor and kept telling me how I looked just like her dead friend. Yeah, and she was also my great aunt's neighbor's pharmacist. Yeah, well, laugh all you want. I didn't care if it was true. I was just glad to get to do something with my life. I've been working with Bobby ever since and only regretted it occasionally. seriously didn't think Hancock would catch wind of your scheme. He took you in, Bobby. And you're stealing from him? Don't listen to her. What does this have to do with Hancock? Yeah, about that. As Mel guessed, this isn't the Diamond City strong room. I see the rest of you are in the dark about this. Nice, no-nos. You all just broke into Hancock's storeroom. You know. Hancock. The mayor of Good Neighbor. Damn it, Bobby. Listen, guys, I know this isn't what you expected, but there are still a ton of caps on the line here. Help me take her out, and all of it is ours. This is Hancock we're ripping off here. The guy tends to hold grudges. Counteroffer. Just go back into your tunnel, and we can forget this ever happened. What do you say? What is this about, Bobby? Why did you lie to us? I knew no one in their right mind would help me rip off Hancock. Everyone is so damn afraid of him, but so damn in love with him. He thinks he is invincible. 
I wanted to show him he wasn't. Come on, Bobby. At least if we leave now, we leave with our lives. Well, shit. You're right. I'm not one to give up. But I know when I'm outmatched. Let's go. Thank God. I don't know why I trusted you again, Bobby. But that was the last time. You'll get over it. Now let's split before the girl changes her mind. What <laughs> Excuse me. You made the right move. How did you find us? If you think Hancock doesn't know about everything that happens in his territory, you're mistaken. You have to know you guys weren't exactly silent down there. Bobby lied to us. I'm glad it shook out this way. I was itching for a fight. But I guess this works too. Here, take this. A token for doing the right thing. Hancock will be happy to hear about your loyalty. You should go pay your respects in person. It's best to stay on Hancock's good side. Trust me. <clears throat> you ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Son of a bitch, Sergeant Riser caught me trying to have a look in the warehouse. And that asshole actually drew his weapon on me. Look, Perry, I know you two came up together and all, but I'm telling you that guy is dirty and I need you to have my back on this. Those ration crates didn't just go missing on their own. And it's our job to make sure they're getting to the people who need them. Just <sighs> lean on him a bit, okay? See if he'll let you in the warehouse to have a look around. McDonald out. Make this quick. Protectron on duty.
Jack, this is Perry. What's taking you so long, cuz? You should have moved more than half this stuff by now. I've got that sanctimonious prick McDonald breathing down my neck. Partner my ass. We gotta get this stuff out of here and skip town before Reese catches on. We'll let his dumb ass take the fall for this, then come back in a week or so and, and, and say our grandma was having, was having health problems down in New York. Just make sure you're ready tonight and... Who's there? You better show yourself, asshole. Your thoughts? This is a far cry from working with the Gunners. Glad that's behind me. I need you to get out of your power armor. No problem. Look alive. Commonwealth Savings Bank of McCready, open for business. Mayor Hancock. Well, if it ain't Bobby's little Patsy. Here, for protecting my stash. Why is decision turning on Bobby like that? Didn't exactly have a choice, now did I? That's what's great about being the mayor. You're always the safe bet. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little tri-corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. Can you just leave, good neighbor? Aren't you the mayor? Hey, the mayor's still the mayor whether he's in residence or not. I've walked out of here plenty of times. Keeps me honest. Can't let power get to my head. That's not what being in charge of good neighbor is about. If you're heading out, why not come with me? Yeah, I like it. You might just be the right kind of trouble. Let me just have a little chat with my community first, give them the news. Hey, everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. No rush, everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock! We need you! Hey, I'm always gonna be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now, what's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free, with no judgment? Good neighbor! neighbor. Of, of the, the people, people! For, for the, people. the people! And don't let no one forget it. Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Are you still interested in traveling together? I think I could do with some more trouble in my life. Let's do it. Done. <laughs>